In our next example, we want to determine the circumcenter of a triangle with vertices at A, negative 4, negative 2, B, 12, 6, and C, 8, 12. So in order to do this, we'll first determine the midpoint of the line segment AB. Using our midpoint formula and knowing that A is the point negative 4, negative 2, and B is the point 12, 6, we see that the midpoint of AB will be at 4, 2. Then what we're going to do is determine the slope of AB. So, um, using our slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we have uh, that the slope of AB will be 6 minus negative 2 over 12 minus negative 4. We could have gone the other way. We could have said negative 2 minus positive 6 and negative 4 minus positive 12. Ultimately, we would have come to the same result. Our slope is 8 over 16, which simplifies to 1 over 2. Now, remember that the circumcenter involves perpendicular bisectors, so we want the perpendicular slope. Well, if the original slope is 1 over 2, the perpendicular slope will be the negative reciprocal of that, which is negative 2 over 1, or in other words, negative 2. Using the perpendicular slope and the midpoint of AB, we're going to determine the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. Okay, and so our midpoint is here, and we're going to try and determine the equation of the perpendicular line. We determined that the slope was equal to 1 half, which means that the perpendicular slope will be negative 2. We want the equation of a line with slope negative 2 passing through the midpoint of AB. That'll be the perpendicular bisector. So, uh, we know that y equals mx plus b. In this case, y is negative 2x plus b. That's the perpendicular slope. We plug in 4, 2 for x and y. And that means 2 for y, 4 for x. 2 is equal to negative 2 times 4 plus b. b will be 10. So, y equals negative 2x plus 10 is the equation of the first perpendicular bisector. This line has the equation y equals negative 2x plus 10. What we're now going to do is find the equation of one of the other perpendicular bisectors. We could find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AC by finding the midpoint of AC and then the equation of a perpendicular line. Or we could find the uh, midpoint of the line segment BC and then draw a perpendicular line uh, that would be perpendicular to line segment BC. Regardless of which way we choose to do it, it's going to actually intersect this first perpendicular bisector in the same point, because all three perpendicular bisectors of a triangle intersect each other in the same spot. That's a pretty uh, cool property of triangles. So, let's determine the midpoint of AC. Uh, the midpoint of AC is 2 and 5. The slope of AC is determined by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, plugging in the coordinates of A as x1 and y1 and plugging in the coordinates of C as x2 and y2, we get that the slope of AC is 7 over 6. So we're going to use the perpendicular slope, which is the negative reciprocal, negative 6 over 7. And so what we're going to try and do now is determine the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AC. Now we'll fast forward a little bit and I'll show you the final diagram. We already have seen the perpendicular bisector of AB to have the equation y equals negative 2x plus 10. Well, we want to determine what is the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AC. That point right there where the two perpendicular bisectors intersect, that will be our circumcenter. So we have some more algebra to do. The first thing we do is determine the midpoint, which is 2, 5, and the perpendicular slope, which is negative 6 over 7. We then use the perpendicular slope and the midpoint to determine the equation of that second perpendicular bisector. y is equal to negative 6 over 7x plus b. We plug in the midpoint coordinates for x and y, 
and we see that 5 is equal to negative 6 over 7 times 2 plus b, which means 5 over 1 is negative 12 over 7 plus b. Solving for b leads us to the uh, conclusion that b is 47 over 7, which means the equation of the second perpendicular bisector is y equals negative 6 over 7x plus 47 over 7. Again, we go back to our diagram. The first perpendicular bisector has the equation y equals negative 2x plus 10. The second perpendicular bisector has the equation y equals negative 6 over 7x plus 47 over 7. We want to find the point of intersection. So we will use the method of substitution. We'll let the x expression of the first line equal the x expression of the second since both are in the form y equals mx plus b. Doing that, we get negative 2x plus 10 equals negative 6 over 7x plus 47 over 7. We get all of our x terms on one side and we see our lowest common denominator to be 7. We can multiply both sides by 7 and doing that leads ultimately to the conclusion that negative 8x equals negative 23 which means x is positive 23 over 8. We want to know the y-coordinate, so y is negative 2x plus 10, or in other words, negative 46 over 8 plus 10 over 1, or in other words, 17 over 4. Again, using the rules of adding fractions. And so we can see that the circumcenter is at 23 over 8 comma 17 over 4. And in case you're wondering, well, how do we know which two perpendicular bisectors to use? Again, it didn't matter which two we used. We could have used um, the perpendicular bisector coming from BC, uh, perpendicular to BC through the midpoint of BC. It would have intersected either of the other two in the same spot. That's one of the neat properties of triangles.